I've had this for ages and I can't remember who gave it to me I know this is not the most expensive if not this is probably one of the cheapest in the market but you know what we gotta make do of what we've got this was a present just can't remember who gave it to me I probably have this for a good three or four years I'm doing my makeup in bed because there's natural light outside so we'll do it the base I'll use that one either this one or that one with the pink undertone I might use this one actually use that one for the base no peach undertone and then this one one two three four and see what we comes up with let's see how pigmented this is hmm. Not very pigmented, not as pigmented as I hope it would be, but never mind, we'll use that as a base. There's a lot of fallout though, that's the problem. Oh dear. Oh. No. What are you doing? Not your turn to fall out. Hmm. Patience is running out. Blending that in. Oh, the fallout is just horrendous. Color. 
What's wrong with this? No. Okay, so they are not the easiest thing to blend. Oh my goodness, it's a nightmare. The color just rubs off, unfortunately, but hey, we'll make do what we got. Let's put eyeliner and see what's going on with this. Let's see what we can do. We'll just wing it. <laughs> so there you go guys. I had to go off camera to put my eyeliner and my lashes because it's stressing me out. And I'm running out of daylight and so now we have to put our foundation contour blush and hopefully we'll get there hopefully it's not blending in those makeups just not cooperating today anyway that's all I could do I'll make it a little bit more smoky maybe I would maybe I won't but Let's see if we could put, I ended up using this, this make, I don't know what make this is really, but let's see what they can do to that. That's all right, I suppose. a little bit there nah. oh man this is not at all the best Okay, so This is just the same color as a transition color. I don't really know what to make of it, but let's see and put our foundation first and see. let's see i had this for ages i think last year i had this and i'm still using it because i hardly use makeup the, the past few years past few months and um 
just now I decided I'd, I'd like to get back into it rediscovering my inner makeup junkie Hmm. It's not a heavy coverage, but with the powder, hopefully, we'll be okay. Forget the neck. Hmm, iBob.com. I'm not even going to cover that. I'm going to leave it. Oh my god, yes, I do have eye bags. Well, I never thought I had. Oh. That was just the residue from this pencil or from this brush. It's a bit dark, isn't it? Anyway, we will get rid of that later on. Let me do it for now. Let's get a bit of powder, shall we? I've got a secret to tell you guys. <laughs> See? Right, since this is a makeup on a budget, I will show you what I'm using to bake. If you haven't got any baking powder, ta da! Perfect. Doesn't cover anything, but it's good enough to, to bake your makeup. For sure. It's enough to absorb those oily, oily parts of your skin. I've got very oily skin, so... It's a bit of a problem for me. This is just to show you guys that yes, you can do makeup with just the very, very basic. Just blend it in. Oh my god, I just noticed that. Ugh. Never mind. I'm not going to do a lot of heavy coverage. Let's do the contouring. I normally do just the contour. Okay, this is a Rimmel. London Radiance Brick. I had it for ages and ages and ages. Just do this here. No, this is my, this is a bronzing one, but I use it for contour as well. On daylight, for daytime this is enough for contouring, but night time we might need to use something else to add. Bronzing on the face, I use this Bare Minerals brush. Or any brush that you could 
get a hold of any brush that you have whatever you co you're comfortable with I'm using a lot of brush different brushes for supposed to be different use but hey I only use what works for me I'm not gonna break the bank just to buy all those brushes because we can do it like this So, we need some blusher. Okay, I need a bit of highlight. Blend it all in. Got a bit of mascara. Right. That's the mascara. Oh my goodness, what is this? Oh, okay. Mascara I used guys is the Max Factor Masterpiece Max High Volume Definition Mascara. I think I do a brown. I don't want to use some black too much. It's a little bit too harsh for my face. Ah, okay. Yeah. Brimo exaggerate waterproof eyeliner so i've had that for ages as well let's blend it all in then we put our lipstick and hopefully do i have i don't see my highlight anymore why what happened okay so i used the champagne this time Okay, so I am using Revlon Color Stay for my lip liner. This is in the shade Nude. My lipstick, I'll use this Shut Up and Kiss Me Liquid Matte Lippy in this shade of Warm Embrace. This is a Happy Skin, which is a, a product of the Philippines. And this is um, for my sister. She sent it to me last summer. thing with this because this is matte it um, dries up my skin my lips I mean can you hear my dog 
I think he can see somebody outside. Hmm. See how long that will last. <laughs> Let's try this if it's going to work. Oh no. It's too dark. I suppose so, eh? It's a little moisturizer, which is a Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie. So there you go, guys. That's the finished look. That's what we made of what we got. What we got there. So that's what we achieved. I, I'd love to have it a little bit more nude, but uh, I was I was already stressed enough trying to sort out and blend this unblendable palette nevertheless we have created a look it's really difficult it took 48 years to get there but we got there and um i mustn't really complain because i i've set myself a challenge that i'm gonna do as many looks as i possibly could from this palette so really this is very 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 few of what we've got except for that palette that's the only one i've got left so i thought i'm gonna um keep hold of that and just experiment from it really but i didn't realize there's more underneath it there's more unblendable stuff <laughs> there's more not so pigmented pal um, colors in there and oh my goodness anyway i'm gonna have to go out now thank you so much for watching guys i hope you like this video and um I hope to see you on my next one and uh, bye for now. God bless.